Today I want to tell you about a neat little purchase I made online. This is the Nokia Lumina 520. This is an AT&T Go phone. That means that this is a pay-as-you-go phone. This has no contract. You don't have to pay any monthly fees if you don't want to on this one. This is a Windows phone. It's loaded up with Windows 8 operating system. It comes in this neat little uh, compact package but um, I ordered this online and uh, I want to tell you what I'm gonna do with this I'm, I'm actually not going to activate this phone and I'm just gonna use it as an internet device now if I pop open the cover on the package you can see here that it's a 4G Windows 8 phone it's got Bluetooth and it has Wi-Fi capability it's got a 5 megapixel camera and it can record 720p HD video and it has 8 gigabytes of uh, internal memory and you can expand that with a uh, 64 gig micro SD card which uh, makes this a uh, really great device for your movies and mp3s and photos. Now the other side of the packaging shows you all these fees you can pay to activate the phone but uh, like I said before I'm not going to activate this phone at all so there's no other cost than just the purchase price of this phone. I'm going to use it strictly as an internet device, kind of like a tablet or a like an iPod Touch that does um, that does not have any data plans or phone plans attached to it. Okay, so I'm going to try to open up this package um, here on camera, but if I can't, I'm going to stop the uh, recording and do it off camera because these packages are a little difficult to open. Okay, so now that I've got this package opened up, let's see what's inside it. Okay, so here's the phone. Pull that out. Here I'll show you the close-up of the front of the phone. Um, this one's got the uh, sticker on it that shows you what the Windows interface would look like if this was turned on. But uh, if we go down here at the bottom, you can see there's a back button, a Windows start button, and a search button right here. So um, those are easily accessed when you're using the phone. And I can tell here on the back of the phone that uh, the battery is not in here right now, and also the back cover. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be uh, attached, but um, it's still in the packaging. I see it just kind of fell off. Okay, let's go ahead and unpack the rest of this package. This is the back cover of the phone. It's a little stuck here. All right, here it is. Let's see what else is in here. Here's the... Um, Here's the SIM card. And let's open this up a little further and see what else is in this package. Let's see if uh, anything else is hidden underneath this packaging. Ah, here we go. So, looks like it comes with the AC charger cord. Some documentation. Quick start guide. And here is the USB cord. And here is the battery. First thing I'm going to do is install the battery. So that just slips in right here. There you go. And here's the back cover. First, there's this little sticker here that I gotta peel off first. And the final step is to snap the back cover on. We'll just make sure we line up the camera hole here with the camera lens. And it clicks in. Normally, I'd probably charge this up before I even try to turn it on, but let's just see if there's any power in this battery. I'm going to go ahead and peel off this sticker that's on the screen. That peels off pretty easily. Now before I go ahead and try to turn this on, I'm going to go over some of the buttons that are on the uh, Nokia 520. Uh, 
Again, on the front, there's the back button, window start button, and a search button. Down here is the USB charging port. If you turn to the side here on the right, there is the camera shutter button. This one right here in the middle is the power button, and then this is the volume up and down buttons right here. On the back, there is the camera lens, and notice that there's no flash for this camera. And also, there is no front-facing camera on this one either. So just kind of watch out for that. There is on the top here a jack for a headset. So um, pretty simple, not a lot of buttons on here, but uh, probably more than some phones. Okay, so now I'm going to push the power button here and let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, looks like there's some power in this battery. There's the AT&T symbol. Now again, I'm just going to use this as an internet device. I'm not going to connect it to any kind of data plan or phone plan. So I just want to start this up and see what type of um, menus show up here when I start it up and uh, just connect it to a Wi-Fi signal. Okay, so the first message that comes up here is the SIM card error. It says the card is missing and that's obvious because I didn't put the SIM card in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click close. I just skip that. And then here is the welcome window. And then on the bottom here, we can make emergency calls. Let's just go ahead and hit the get started button. And I'll go through and set up this phone. Okay, so now I need to choose a language. I'll just choose English. So that one's already selected. I'll hit next. Now the SIM card error message is coming up again. I'm just going to hit close. And then some terms of use. I'm just going to accept this. And then the setup of the phone. How would you like to set up your Windows phone? How would you like the configuration is really what it says. Uh, I'm just going to hit recommended. And then here are some more setup screens. Okay, let's go ahead and set up the time zone. Okay, here it is. Pacific time zone. And then let's set up the time. Now hit the check button to accept the time. I'm going to uncheck send my location to Microsoft when my phone is activated. I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to hit next. Okay, on this next screen it says uh, what Wi-Fi networks do I want to connect to? I'm going to connect to one of these. Let's see that didn't take. Okay, and this one, it's already connected. Um, and I know this one doesn't require a password, but if you had a wireless network that required a password, you'd be um, uh, sent to a screen where you have to enter your wireless password, but. This, this network doesn't require a password, so I am automatically connected. And then, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the next button. And it looks like this kind of stuff I'm probably just going to skip a lot of, so I'm just going to probably pass up a lot of this in this uh, video. Okay, so now the phone is going through some more setup procedures. And it'll probably be a few minutes before it is ready to, to be used. Okay, so now those apps have finished installing and then we just have to hit the next button. And and it looks like the phone is ready. So it says it's all done and I'm just going to hit the done button down here at the bottom. And here's what the phone looks like, the desktop. The screen feels pretty responsive and uh, looks like I'm all set. Let's just give this a quick test. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer and see if I'm really connected to the internet. Right here, I'm just going to use the recommended settings. Oh, down here, here's the um, um, navigation bar. I'm going to type in Google. Let's see, I'm just going to allow here.
yeah so it all works the internet is connected and I'm able to get search results here out of Google let's hit the home button go back to the main screen so when you hit the home button there's actually a very quick vibration to tell you that uh, you've clicked that button one of the really cool things about this phone is the price um, I don't think you're gonna find anything as cheap as this phone if you want like an internet gadget just to play around with I paid $29 for this online I was searching for an mp3 player like a, just a cheap mp3 player when I ran across this Nokia Lumina 520 and then I, I, I was doing some more research on it and I just figured that I can play mp3s on this device and get a whole lot more because it's really uh, worth the money especially at the uh, around the $30 price range which uh, you can find at most places online right now not only can you play mp3s but you can check your email you can search the internet and there's also this thing here called uh, here maps it's got a GPS built in. You can um, download offline maps and use the GPS directions and navigation without a data signal here. So it's that's another bonus, you know. So there's really no extra fees associated with this phone other than just the price of it. So again, you get an MP3 player, internet browser, email, and navigation. And there might be a few other things here that I haven't really gotten into yet, but there's so much you can do with this phone without any activation and it only costs around $30. So it's almost like an impulse buy. This phone comes with minimal accessories like the AC adapter and a USB cord for connecting to your computer. But again, like this is just just a huge value with this phone. I actually bought two of them. One of them I've already tested out the navigation, and I'll do another video on that. But uh, it actually works very slick. It's got turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions with voice navigation, so it really works well. Like I said, I'll do that in another video. And it looks like the uh, power on this phone is getting really low, so... I'm going to end this video now. I'm going to charge it up and then I'm going to do another video on the navigation. But again, this is an incredible value at uh, right around $30 online. No activation, no contracts, and uh, just you just get so much with this phone that um, you know it's worth it. If you have kids that want to um, play games, you can load apps on here or you know whatever whatever they want to do this is just a really cheap gift idea that you know you can get your kids into their first smartphones i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time